Hi, and welcome back to Dirty Brains Garage. Um, <laughs> this little, uh, we did the heater episode last night. Um, that took a very, very unexpected twist here. And I'm going to go ahead and list that twist on the karma. Um, I am a firm believer in karma. As far as, uh, you know, what comes around goes around and whatnot. I've helped num numerous people on numerous situations and, and trust me, I don't expect anything from this. When I help somebody, I, I help because I want to, but it's really funny how it actually has a, a way, you know, every here and there, something will come along in your direction that normally wouldn't be, you know, expected. And this right here, this is actually the, the case of that. Um, I want to give a special shout out to my friend Ginger. Uh, we got a beautiful uh, heater here. This is what's donated by her to me. Um, and it's actually kind of funny. The way Ginger and I actually met was to do with helping other people. You know, we have a fairly tight knit community here and um, especially with COVID happening and whatnot, uh, there were several people this past spring that they didn't have a mower or they had a mower that wasn't running and needed help with it and they didn't have the money and that's all well and good. I mean, I'm not, I'm not here to get rich, like I've said on many episodes. Um, anyway, there was this, uh, couple people, you know, asking for help with mowers and I'm like, okay, well, yeah, I can help these people. So I put a post on the, we have a site called Neighbors Helping Neighbors. And I put a post up there. I said, I'll tell you what, if people want to donate some mowers, I will donate my time and, you know, the parts and whatnot, the, whatever I can. I'll get these mowers running and give them to people in need. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. Um, in this case, Ginger actually donated a mower and um, that was, she was one of the ones to, to do this and I went ahead and actually the mower she donated I kept but I did donate another one in her place. Um, we're going to get to that a little bit later on. But anyway, that's how Ginger and I actually met. Um, we've never met in person yet, but if I get the chance, trust me, I'd love to meet her in person because she's absolutely wonderful. But, anyway, back to the story. Um, so, you know, last night I posted a video, I was having some troubles with the heater and everything, and Ginger uh, posted on the thing on my Facebook, you know, saying, hey, I got this heater, you know, if you want it, you can have it. Okay, so <laughs> this is what we got out of the deal. Um, not only is this a fairly new heater, but also uh, we got a complete owner's manual. Brand spanking new wick. And this is from the actual, uh, this isn't even an aftermarket wick, this is a Dynaglow uh, wick from the actual company. Uh, we also got a uh, five gallon jug of, um, I, it's probably, uh, it's probably got about two gallons in it, I would guess. And the little pump there to pump the kerosene. I mean, come on, this is incredible. This heat is like brand new. Um, give me a quick walk around here. I mean, it's, it, it's clearly, it's not, doesn't have a ton of use and everything. I think it shouldn't be a big issue to get this thing going. <clears throat> but yeah, anyway, like I said, Ginger's like, yeah, if you want it, come get it and you play games with it. Um, now by the sounds of the, I didn't get a chance to talk to Ginger herself, but by the sounds of it, she or somebody made an attempt to put a wick in it and it just wasn't working out. 
I don't know anything other than that. But I did notice that you got your little igniter switch. Uh, this little job right here, this pin isn't lining up. I believe it's gonna stick through this hole, everything. I don't know any of this for certain, but um, for starters, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull this heater apart like I did with the other one. And we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't get this heater to run because I think we got a real good heater on our hands here. So, so hold on a second, we'll get tearing it apart. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull this thing apart. This is actually the same thing as the other one that I showed you yesterday. Um, it's, I actually, uh, I read through the owner's manual, believe it or not, which is not really like me, but you know, I. Since Ginger uh, supplied it, I had to redraw it a little bit. Um, and this heater actually comes apart the same as the one that I pulled apart yesterday. So, instead of, I'm just going to go ahead and take it apart and see if we can't figure out what's going on with this. this lifts right off of here. Um, as I said, the main, I, I can see something not going right in here. That, and I don't know exactly what it is. But it seems like something here is jammed or uh, maybe it's supposed to sit like that. I don't know. Uh, for right now, the igniter is not working. Um, this one actually has the, the correct uh, the battery pack and everything. The batteries may not be working. So we're gonna have to investigate that. Hmm. Okay, this heat this uh wick seems to be in pretty good shape. To be honest with you. Give you a close up here. Um with this wick lifted up all the way. Yeah. And right here. Um, like I said, I did not get a chance to actually speak with Ginger over this, but um, she had said that the thing wasn't running right once she got it going again. So we're going to have to investigate this a little bit. I am going to go ahead and take this whole uh, unit out of here. We'll take a look underneath of it, see what's going on. Um, Luckily, as far as YouTube goes, I I put in Dynaglow over on the, the search and it pulled up about a, a couple hundred videos on it. So we're going to go ahead and go from there. But yeah, we'll uh, go ahead and take the rest of this thing apart and see what's going on. Yeah. So, like the other uh, one, we're gonna go ahead and pull this knob off of here, and this whole unit should slide right off. Oh yeah, and take the gas cap off, don't get me wrong. Now, by the looks of this, we have, all right, we got our little igniter here. Um, this obviously takes batteries, which I don't, I, I don't have any at the moment. And that's fine. What I do have is a, a uh, one of those charcoal lighter things for barbecues. My wife actually just picked one up today. We got all that in stock, uh, but it's really nice to know that, you know, later on or whatever, the need be, we do have the correct uh, thing here. We can actually, you know, it would be all hot tech. 
go ahead you can get this thing running just you know a little flip of a switch instead of playing game for an episode that'll that's always a good thing so we're gonna go ahead and take this thing out the, this wick really the the top of this wick doesn't not look bad at all so we're gonna see what if there's something else going on and I mean yeah. All right, so that's off of there. Look at that. Oh, we got plenty of kerosene in there. Yeah, and I, I already see some problems already. And I'll show you exactly what it is. Um. All right, so part of the instructions on this thing is you're gonna have your, this is the top half of the heater, and there's actually a bottom part of this too, and I'm gonna try not to get, um, if you see the, on the bottom there, the wick is separated in spots. This wick should technically Uh, try and set it. No, no, we'll try and hopefully that doesn't fall. This wick should technically be sticking through right here. These are a bunch of little tabs that actually would hold the wick in place. Um, over here, you can see where they're kind of sort of held in place. You go over here and there's nothing. The wick is actually crumpled up into the thing. That's gonna be one of your issues right there. Um, as I said, I don't know the whole situation here, but by the sounds, uh, they tried to put a wick in it and maybe it didn't work out as planned or whatever. I, I, I know nothing, but so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this wick out of here and get rid of it. We're gonna put the brand new wick in there and we're gonna go from there with it. 